although it's not their first time meeting for Ngân, seeing her special children again is always an emotional experience. Everyone burst into tears. For the last four days, Ngân's youngest son, Vang, has been absent from their small house. He wasn't even 30 when he died in an accident. But during these that four years, especially on Tet holidays, six people come to take care of Ngân and welcome Tet with her. They were the recipients of Vang's organs and corneas. Whenever the recipients come to visit me, I get emotional. It's like I'm with my son again. I hug them tightly as if they were my son, hearing their hearts beating, seeing their dear eyes. Four years ago, when organ donation was not as popular as it is now, Ngân decided to donate her son's heart, liver, kidneys and corneas. The decision shocked many people, but it brought happiness to six families. However, this decision brought her grief at the time. Losing my son was difficult. I could not save him. If I buried him, he would just turn to dust. I suppressed my pain to help people. If I could help save people, my child could live on through others. Before the transplant, I had to undergo dialysis for two years and peritoneal dialysis for six years. During those eight years, I used to think that all hope was lost. When the doctor told me that there was a donor, I was filled with hope, like I was in the dark tunnel and could now see the light. Although organ recipients and donors' relatives are typically not informed about each other, they were so impressed by Ngân. They all went to Ngân house and started calling her mother. They are committed to take care of her for Van. It's like I was born a second time thanks to her. I didn't ask for anything. I just asked the doctors that if anyone receives any part of my child, let me see them. Their health is the greatest form of comfort to me. Seeing them as healthy people feels like I'm seeing my son. Despite losing a son, Ngân has gained six more children. They own carry parts of her son. As a result, he lives on in each of them.